Now in these next few videos, I want to talk about race-based stress, trauma, injury. Now it is what it says on the tin. It's, it's a stressful injury, emotional injury that is caused by racism. Now I'll give you an example of um, when I first experienced this to my knowledge. And the reason why I'm talking about this is because I think it's a massively overlooked factor when organizations are looking at be being anti-racist. Okay, so first time I experienced it, I was age 25 and I was working as a supply teacher in a secondary school. And there was this girl who was eating crisps in class. And so I said to her, could you please put your crisps away? So she grumbled and she put it away. But then about five minutes later, I could see the packet of crisps were out again. Now, this was a pre predominantly white class. I was obviously the black uh, supply teacher. And so upon asking her the second time, can you, I, you know, I've asked you once, I'm not going to ask you again, can you put away your crisps? And what I heard her say was, you black female dog, put it that way. And I could deal with the female dog bit, but it was the word black. Never before had somebody use my skin colour as an attack on me. And it I can only describe this as it felt like a physical shot of pain that went through my entire body and I was paralysed. I couldn't teach the rest of the class. I had to go and get help. And it was a real visceral um, emotion, emotion feeling that I felt, which is very difficult to describe other than the fact it was very painful. And so this is an example of race-based stress, stress, injury okay it, it physically hurts when you're exposed to racism and so i'm going to talk more about that in the next few videos and the different ways um it, it manifests and the different types of racial stress that ethnic minorities experience